well welcome back to my channel if you're new hello welcome i am your girl t-i-g-g-y and today as you can see from the title down below we are going to be doing a mini tutorial on procreate so what i'm going to be teaching you exactly is how to make gradient wallpapers so let's just go on ahead and hop into it okay love so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your app store and search this application right here called procreate that is the application that i will be using today to show you how i make gradients on my ipad now they do have procreate for your iphones as well it's called pocket procreate however you don't get all the tools and functionality off of the iphone one um other than using your ipad so i always have always used procreate on my ipad so that i get all the full functionality but once you download that i believe i paid 7.99 and i promise you if you want to get into like making your own like wallpapers and stuff i absolutely love this application and it was completely worth like the eight bucks so once you have purchased and downloaded it onto your iPad, you will just open up the application and yours will not have any of this stuff there. It will be bare. I believe they give you like two examples, um, but other than that, you won't have any of this stuff. But to make like an iPhone wallpaper, um, at the top right, there's a plus. You're going to tap on that and you'll have some generic sizes i have personally added more in um so the one that i will be using is this one right here and it is 1284 by 2778 so what you would probably like to do is at the top right hand corner after taking maybe like a screenshot or something of the actual size which is this one right here um then you'll have that for your record but you'll hit the plus sign and once you're in here this is what it will show it says on title canvas but you can tap on that and you can give it a name which is why i named mine um iphone 12 pro max um iphone size like the wallpaper size but you can name it whatever you would like but you're going to put the width and the height and after naming it and you're going to hit create and then where it will show moving forward is going to be on this list. You'll be able just to tap the one that you have just named. So we're going to open this up and it's going to be a white screen. So let's say you really like a picture and you really like the, the color scheme of it what you would probably like to do is download if i can pick it up i don't think i actually have the app on this phone i mean on my ipad but i do have it on my iphone so i will take a screenshot and post it up here for you but basically you're gonna load in a that picture or picture or something like that and you'll be able to go in and pick each of the colors it will give you the rgb version as well as the hex code so all you have to do once you're on the screen here at the top right you'll see there's a little circle with a color in there you're gonna tap on that and then at the bottom you have a different option i i kind of just use whichever um that i need at the time because if you go to value on there it has hexadecimal and that's where you're going to put in the color that you just picked you're going to choose the hex code and you know use your phone maybe i do that so that i can read the numbers as i'm typing them in on my ipad so that's how i do but other than that what you're going to do is comment what you know is you're gonna have your color that you want to use. So what you're gonna do is on the left where it says gallery, if you go down to read there's like a little S you can tap on it and this box at the bottom will check out. Once you get to this bottom here, once you have that up, you're gonna make sure it says rectangle and you're also gonna make sure it says color fill. So 
I like to do is go in and choose the color the color that I am using if you like this shade is the hex um, the hex code is hashtag f2b0c3 that is the pink shade that I'm using and all you're gonna do is since it's on rectangle and color fill we're just gonna draw And you're going to bring the square to wherever you like and it's automatically going to fill with whatever color you have in that little circle up there then you are going to want to come off of that and we're going to pick another color so we will pick this blue the blue that i'm using is hashtag cee0fb so then what you're going to do once you have that second color you're going to hit the s again Make sure it says rectangle and color fill. And then you're just gonna draw another box and it's gonna do this. Use your fingers to pinch in if it's too big and you can't see. Once that's done, you're gonna go right back where it says gallery and go to the second option. It looks like a little magic wand. And you're gonna tap on that. And as you can see, if you go, not the first box under adjustments, but the next portion, it has Gaussian Blur. So once you hit on that one, you're gonna wanna choose the Gaussian Blur. You're gonna hit Layer. And then it's gonna say right here, Gaussian Blur, slide to adjust. And you're just gonna slide. And as you can see, the colors are fading themselves together and blending. And when you get it to where you'd like, just come off the little magic wand and there is your gradient wallpaper. That's kind of like one way. The other way is multiple colors, which is also super, super simple. Literally, all you're gonna do is, let's say you're practicing, you're gonna go back to your layers, which is the little boxes next to the colored circle. And you're gonna choose whichever one, which I'm gonna choose layer one. You're gonna slide to the left and hit clear and it's gonna clear that off for you. Then what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna use, um, I think I'm gonna do this peachy color, so it will be my third color. But all you're gonna do is the same process. You're gonna hit the S, make sure it still says rectangle and color fill. Mind you, it typically does because it kinda saves your choices. But you're just gonna draw one box, and then we're gonna come off the S because what will happen is, let's say you put the colors in a specific order. If you don't come off the S, but you change the color, it's gonna change the color that's already, that you just put there in the box. So make sure you come off of that. But we have our second color. We're gonna do the pink, the blue and the pink. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. This weather is so stinking dry. But we're going to go ahead and hit the S again and draw another box. And then come off the S, go back and grab the lightest color, which is hashtag F0CCCD. That'll be the other color I'm using. We're going to hit the S again, and then we're going to just do the other box. And then once you're done, you're going to hit the magic wand and hit Gaussian Blur layer and then you're just gonna adjust until it gets to where you like. and I like that right there but yes this is how you're gonna make gradients on Procreate on your iPad this was a very short tutorial so I hope that it's easy I'm gonna let you all practice and then we're gonna have a part two and I'm gonna show you um, where and how I get different patterns and things to lay over top of the gradients. So we're basically building our wallpaper here. I'm going to save this wallpaper so that next time we can pick up where we left off. But as always, I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good night, and a good evening. And until next time, my loves, make sure you practice. Bye!